Good evening, YouTube world. It's with another one. I'm back with another one. We're doing a hotel review. We're in Braintree, Massachusetts, at the Hyatt Place in Braintree. That's where we're heading, right over there. Last minute booking, reservation for around 150 a night. Uh, walking distance to Logan Express and Braintree. Uh, legal seafood entrance is right there. Starbucks and other things Yeah, they got around. a Five Guys, they got a Cadoba. Um, for all you uh, daytime travelers, if you have like a 6 a.m. flight in the Massachusetts area, you need a place to stay right before to catch that flight. Hyatt Place, you can hop on the Logan Express right afterwards. Perfect. So then it's about a half an hour from here right into the city, depending on traffic. In and out, I think tickets are $12 per way. So easy access to Boston Logan Airport if you're flying in or out. So like always, we're going to check out the room, the ambiance. I'll let you know what we, what we think. Stay tuned, guys. This is actually ranked number two out of seven in hotels in uh, Braintree. And we're going to see what that's all about as well. Stay tuned. All right, guys, here we are checking in room 307. 307 is our room key. Braintree, Massachusetts. Right when you first come in, here is the restroom and closet. There is a new ironing board, a couple of hangers. It looks like some blankets up top. Standard one sink. Everything looks pretty clean in here so far. There. Working for art. And again, this was a last minute booking on Expedia, around 150 a night. Coffee maker, some tea, and me. Hey there, Michael. Hey, hey. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Hyatt Place Braintree. So we're checking out the room. Got a nice little, looks like a little sleeper here. You stretch out, maybe a day bed kind of ambiance yeah. here. If you're reading a book or something. That looks nice. Uh, I would say maybe a table here would be awesome for a handy dandy bum light. Besides that, it's pretty nice. <laughs> what about this art here? What do you think of that? Oh, uh, you know. I like it. It goes pretty, with the room. Pretty modern. Let's do the dust test of the art real quick. Take a look here, run my finger. Check over here, let's see what we got. Well, we picked up a little bit of dust, but not too much. This is about a B minus to a C plus. That's the dust house, guys, there. Official hotel manager coming live, live, <laughs> live. Check out this light fixture. This is really fun. It's cute, right? Yeah, Different like for a hotel. And then we have the two beds here. Uh, so far, so good. Linen looks nice and clean. Some more art and light fixtures. Nice big TV. Yeah, giant TV here. This is a uh, fridge. You want to show us what's in here? Absolutely. Mini fridge. So no handy dandy bun lights um, tonight. But Just a quick stopover. I'm show you the fridge open. There it is. Yep. So three, you can stack up pretty much a lot of handy dandies. Perfect. So. Looks clean. How's the view over there? Let's take a look. Is the view going to be a cheers or a cheers, guys? Oh, it's a parking view. lot. It's a parking lot. Not bad, though. Do you have some trees over here? You know, you might see some wildlife or birds out there. I don't think anybody's staying here particularly for views. You're staying here if you want to get a quick uh, flight out the next morning. This is like a good stopover place. Um, I did a little research on TripAdvisor. I'm going to give you what the five stars say and a little bit of what the one stars say. Five star reviews say the, uh, the staff is very accommodating to guest needs. So I read a few reviews about that. One star reviews, apparently the pool's closed for a few years, so that's a jeers there. So oh. uh, some of the one star reviews said that they were unhappy that there was no pool in the hotel. So we're going to go downstairs, check out what's going on with the pool. Is it still closed? That's where we parked over there. That's where we just did the intro. Um, and again, this is right next to, we have a Ben & Jerry's, Starbucks, Legal Seafoods, right around the corner there. So nice walking distance to those few things. Uh, comfy bed. I think the clock was set to the correct time maybe with a one minute to spare so you know we few of our followers that's important to them so clock check doing good extra plugs there we like we these are, more plugs here too so that there's a lot of plug space that's key lots of plug space and these are dimming lights here next to the bed so that's pretty cool too we like like having some options there so far this is a cheers guys cheers we'll go check it out all right guys this is what the pool would have been but it's locked and closed, no pool at this hotel for the time being.
and they do have a fitness center right past what that pool was over there. Just give you a little sneak peek. There's someone working out in there, so we didn't want to bother them, but looks like a couple of treadmills, some free weights, um, maybe a bike. And uh, just walking by on the ground here, we did notice someone waiting for their room service to be picked up. So it looks like someone had a good night. And this is on the way back to the lobby, a little sitting area here. So if you're like me and you like to keep your man waiting while you're getting ready, you can send him down here to uh, sit down and relax and chill. That's the front That's the front lobby there, which leads to the bar. The ice machine are located in floors two, four, and six for all you who are going to need to know. Look at that, Michael using his tripod to point at things like he's a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> And this door was propped open, so I just wanted to show you guys they do have some meeting space as well. So some space for tables and chairs here. That was event space three, and that's the number you want to contact if you needed it. All right, guys, here's a look at the Hyatt Place. So like we already showed you the restaurant options that were around. And also across the street, there is a mall. So if you have to do some shopping needs, maybe before catching a flight, there's a giant Macy's, a bunch of all the stores. Right behind that tree there, there's a mall. Um, I think it's called the South Shore Plaza. Right over there, guys. Cap time overall for the price point. Hyatt Place in Braintree, very good price. It was one one fifty nine. Yeah, one fifty ish with tax. Uh, last minute booking, same day booking. Again, Expedia Gold. They gave us what we asked for, what we booked. Two room, uh, two beds, in and out, one night. On a spacious room, very spacious room, clean um, location. I mean, like I said before, um, if you're looking to stay. Um, right before a flight to, um, from Logan or anything like that. Or Logan you Express. If right you're landing pretty late in Logan and you, you want to crash before heading home. You don't want to have to bother your family to pick you up late night. Book a room here. Or night before a snowstorm, if you're trying to fly out the next morning, I'd book a room here. So close. Walking distance to Logan Express. Maybe not in the, not in the winter. Not during the snow. But on a nice, beautiful day, you could do it. Gas station, Fridays, Starbucks. Plenty of food options. Plenty of food options. Stuff, right around here. 
Um, and again, like Michael said, the mall right across the street with lots of shops over there too. Yeah, last minute shopping needs. You got a mall across the street. Uh, last minute, you know, you know, if you want to get a quick bite to eat, there's plenty of restaurants. Yeah. Um, good ambiance. The hotel has a restaurant in itself as well, and a breakfast yeah. that's included. Um, so wish overall, that pool was open. Yeah. Wish we could show you that pool. I would I say the only Jeers is no pool. Yeah, um, no pool, and also no um, bottled water or anything like that yeah. in a hotel room, which. I guess we've come to kind of expect um, these days, but when you pay that that low price, you know what you're getting, and yeah. sometimes you gotta get some bubbly along the way. All right, so until the next time, guys. If it's gonna be food, drink, um, or hotels, we'll catch you next time. Please click and subscribe, and we'll hope to see you then. Peace. All right, guys, we're leaving the higher place now, and we're off to the next adventure. Where will we go? Stay tuned to find out. And there's one more look. That's that mall I was telling you about earlier that's right across the street from the hotel.